Hi there. This is a video about an eye disease. It may have videos of eye surgeries. In case you are not comfortable seeing such videos, please stop. Also, the medical information shared in this video are current as of the date of publication. Please consult your doctor regarding any health issues. Thank you. So this was a case of a 28 year old boy who got injured in his left eye while playing cricket as the ball hit directly in, on his eye. So he lost vision and came to us for an opinion three weeks later. On examination, we found that he had vitreous hemorrhage with subretinal hemorrhage and a juxtaphobial choroidal rupture. A 3D OCT revealed serous detachment of the fovea with subretinal blood in the detached space. So there were two challenges here. First, we had to remove the blood in the vitreous cavity. Second, the blood which was under the fovea in the subretinal space had to be displaced to restore vision. We planned a vitrectomy with subretinal recombinant tissue plasminogen activator injection and gas to remove the blood as well as displace the subretinal blood. We began the surgery by doing a central vitrectomy to remove the blood in the vitreous cavity. Once all the blood in the vitreous cavity along with the central vitreous had been removed, the next step was to induce a posterior highlight separation. This is always done very carefully to ensure that we don't end up damaging the retina. So for this, the cutter is kept in suction only mode. And thanks to the OS4's great holding ability, this is done very easily with this machine. So once the posterior highlight had been separated from the retina all around, we proceeded with completion of the vitrectum. Having removed all the vitreous, now the second challenge remained, that of the subretinal blood. So using a 40 gauge subretinal needle, we injected a cocktail of recombinant tissue plasminogen activator and air under the subretinal space. This is done in small aliquot in multiple spaces all around the area of the subretinal blood. Once that had been done, we did a fluid air exchange and filled the vitreous cavity with SF6 gas. 15 days later, the patient came back. He was very happy. He said he had significant improvement in vision and the retina was absolutely stable. The subretinal blood had been displaced beautifully. The OCT also showed that the fovea had been attached and uh, took significant resolution of the subretinal fluid. So this was an interesting case of blunt trauma leading to subretinal bleed, which was very well managed with vitrectomy and subretinal TPA injection and vision could be successfully restored.